you're from these uh, from the southern um, states, you know, Illinois included, Missouri, um, you know, down Georgia, Alabama, um, Louisiana, you guys are used to this heat. We're not we're not used to this heat up here this time of the year. So what I find is a lot of clients go into a uh, dormant mode, and uh, there that you you have to pick away at your opportunities, but one thing to keep in mind is um, like this morning I opted not to hunt this morning I'm gonna try to hunt tomorrow morning and the reason that is is at when you're inside of this window of the first week of November um, we don't have the we don't have the, um, the comfort zone if you will to give up a day or two it maybe three because of the heat the uh, bucks obviously are going to be doing more rutting um, activity during the uh, night but in this case, we're past the uh, full moon. We're in that waning moon stage, and so the rut is going to continue on, uh, whether it's the uh, the weather, or the moon, or the barometer. And when you get these cases in there, I, I find a lot of guys, and and uh, rightly so, and a lot of times is backing away from it. It's too hot that they aren't going to move. And so a couple things that I, I always I always um, recommend, and I focus on myself is one, is take the um, your trail cameras have to be your number one uh, priority right now if if that's possible the cell cam is the uh, a very important tool um, I've got one of my cell cams going I've still got bucks uh, you know 1130 and noon right in broad daylight in 50 60 degree weather but it's not the not quite the buck that I'm looking for yet it's in a spot that that camera's in a spot that's just going to continue to get better and the more pressure around that area is from private and public grown um, that place just keeps getting better so you have to make the determination is the weather um, as big of the influence as you think it is and nine times out of ten during the uh, the, the rut you might have a shorter window of, of day or a daylight movement um, those bucks might be off their feet a little bit longer than they were the, last, the end of October because of the heat but it's still a go time so you don't don't give up three, four, five days of the, uh, the you know prime time of the rut here, uh, waiting for this weather to snap. Um, but like I said, if you've got good weather coming down the road, then you just have to weigh out your options. Is it worth going into it? How easy is it to get into not in and out of that spot? If it's a um, if it's a spot where it's kind of a long haul off the road, maybe a public ground sit. Um, and then you're going to make a lot of noise getting in and out of there. That uh, short window of opportunity might not be worth it. Um, so you kind of got to tweak this weather in this this uh, heat to your uh, strategy. And what I did today, um, for an example, what I did today, I'm not going to be hunting this area until I don't think I'm going to be hunting this area until um, that cold snap hits. And the reason is, is there's a couple spots in here that I hunt in this location, this spot right here is pretty tricky to get into and it's really really wind specific uh, so on these warm fronts up here in the midwest or the northeast we get a lot of that south southwest uh, winds when it's warm and like i said this time of the year we're just not accustomed to it luckily that's why my side access and the way that i design and set up stands is i'm ready for all that stuff it doesn't um, you know i don't i have very few um, spots that i hunt that are turned off because of the the weather I just have to pick and choose which one I'm going to be in, um, depending on the wind. That's the power of doing that. It's just like I said, going back to the drawing board here of really, you know, looking ahead on the weather, seeing if the if the if the temperatures are dropping. Um, you know, we always look for that 20 to 30 degree, 20 degree window drop or that uh, drop in, in temperatures, right? So if that's doing that in the evening to morning, that's a good morning to sit. Now if it's if it's 60 degrees. 65 like it's supposed to be here in Michigan today and then tomorrow morning um, I think it's like 57 or something you know at 8 o'clock 7 8 o'clock well it's not worth it um, but if you get in that situation where it's you know 65 70 and then it's 40 in the morning and it's, then you got to go um, you just got to make sure like I said you know to consider that wind into consideration and uh, just keep picking away at them um, they're going to continue to move they're going to be continue to be on their feet um water holes right now evening water hole sits are nice not because of the uh so much as the heat is just because they're they are um, on their feet more 
if they did make it to ag or they they're eating along the way there's still a lot of green um you know available throughout the the woods on that low browse and they're gaining all of that moisture now after they go back to bed and they're in in a bedding situation um you know from that, that pre-rut into the rut there and they're bedded up and they don't they're either bedded up alone or they're bedded up with the doe those mature bucks don't have they're not meeting their water requirements so that's a spot that they have to meet that on the way um, out in the evening so that makes that very powerful a very powerful um, evening water hole set this time of the year so it has something to do with the with the temperature but not all to do with the temperature it's because they're not meeting their water requirements because they're moving more it doesn't have so much to do with the heat so take those into consideration three or four things there that I thought I'd just throw into uh, throw all into a uh, kind of a quick video here, video here this morning so uh, in, in review the rut is on pick away at these dates don't give up three four days of opportunity but those those opportunities that you are are um, focusing on that you're going to um, implement your moves in it has to be the right the right day so three four days of heat uh, you might get one or two sits but it can be a powerful one or two sit don't give up those powerful sits just because uh, of the heat's going to chase you out of the woods uh, so we're going to get through this warm snap uh, heat wave if you will and uh, then we're going to be back in action here i think it's next wednesday we'll go back down in the 40s here and then obviously uh you guys that are tuning in from uh down south obviously um you guys are um you know a couple weeks behind us here and you're still dealing with this heat so um maybe someday i'll get freed up here and uh go down and be able to uh, experience some of that uh you know nice sunshine down there in in uh kentucky a good friend of mine real successful last week on a kentucky hunt got another good friend of mine that lives in kentucky it feels more like uh, landscaping weather than it does whitetail rut weather but we're going to get um, a couple things done today we're going to review these cards that came into this spot pulled the cards took advantage of this the wind was right the warm temperatures and i'm uh, going to slip out and uh, if there if things are happening on the cameras we'll be back in here tomorrow if not uh, this thing's going to sit in this spot till wednesday so uh, pick and pick away at it guys um, if you ever need any help help along the way reading reading your area's weather or what to do what not to do um, I'm just a message away so uh, stay in touch guys and uh, got a good fall get ahead of us thanks